So take a look at this diagram. Okay. Can you tell me what this is? Yeah, Andy, it's an ear. Okay, it is. And can you tell me what happens when a sound wave comes and enters our ear? Well, I'm guessing it's collected by this tube thing here, right? Exactly, and that tube thing is called the ear canal. And then what do you think happens? And then it gets to this thing here. That's right, and this thing is called the eardrum. And it's a tight membrane that vibrates at the same frequency as this incoming sound wave. That's really cool, Andy, but then what are these things that's connected to the eardrum? Ah, these are three tiny bones. So the vibrations in the eardrum will cause these bones to vibrate. Okay, well then what happens when the vibrations get to this curly thing here? Right. This curly snake-like looking thing is called the cochlea. And the cochlea is filled with fluid. So when the bones here vibrate, they actually cause the fluid in the cochlea to vibrate as well. Okay, so we have vibrating air, which goes in to vibrate the eardrum, which vibrates the bones, which vibrates the fluid in the cochlea? Exactly. And lining the inside of this cochlea are thousands of tiny little hairs. And when these hairs vibrate, they cause neurons to fire. The signal gets sent off to a part of the brain called the temporal lobe, which is where it's interpreted as sound. Something else that's amazing is that the different frequencies will actually cause different hairs in the cochlea to vibrate, which is part of how we're able to hear so many different sounds.